today I'm going to put together a rabbit hutch. Just got it online. Um, I don't know, 70, 80 bucks, something like that. I uh, didn't want to build it myself. I know fix it. That's the theme of this channel. But this seems like a really slam dunk way to do it. So here we go. Okay, here's all the stuff it takes to build a rabbit hutch. Let's just go directions and see how it takes us. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the, the side to the, the front. There's some little dowel holes right here. And there's the dowels on the front. Make sure the front is out and it's up. It's got the label on the front. Put those pieces together. The dowel's not gonna go in real tight. It's just gonna kind of act as a guide. And kind of fidget it until it gets in there. There we go. And probably this way you can use this. Those screws. There's already a hole there, so I'm just gonna set them up and drill them in. Yeah, this is cedar, so you want to make sure you don't tighten it too much because it will just crack the wood. Just snug it first. That seems pretty good. Now we'll do the same on the other side. <coughs> See, this is where the tray goes, so that's the inside part. These dowels won't line up if you don't do that. That one lines up real easy. Same deal on this side. This is definitely something you could make by yourself, but we just thought this one was really cute, so there's your start. Let's move on to the next piece. Okay, now that we got the front and the sides put together, we're gonna put the back on and slip in the partition in between. There's a little notch here that you can lay the wood on. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure these sides are even and flush, all on both sides. So it's Kind of press it into where it needs to go, drive your screw through. So we will slip the partition in just so we don't mess up and make it so it doesn't fit later. There we go. That piece kind of close. And this piece kind of close. Okay. So now, as I do each one of these, I want to make sure the sides are flush and then drill my screw in. I want to do the other side. Again, we're always looking for the flush side so this thing is square. in there. Nice. Next step. All right, so now we're going to put the roof on. So right now it's just, it's loose. So there's a little flap right here. 
that goes into this notch here. So what I did is I just put it right on top and it kind of slips in. On this side, I'll wiggle it and it just notches right in there. So that will all be flush. Now, there's those B-sized screws, so they're, they're small. There's three holes here, one, two, and three. Then up on the bar to hold that on, this attaches to this right here on both sides. So let me give that a shot. I think if I secure this to the whole, whole build, One. Two. And then I'm going to do three across the back to attach this to this backboard. How's it looking? Good. That's my daughter. That's who I'm building this for. your gaps one more step let me show you how this thing has like an arm that kind of helps it from just slamming shut when the kids are all dead let's do that next step okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift the lid up and we're gonna install this arm let me show you up close so you just open up the top and there's a package of the screws that says C obviously that's connected to this so we'll set those aside there's a flat side, which goes up here. There's four screws to put on that. And then there's two little fine holes right here for your receiving right there. So let's go ahead and just put it all together. Get them too tight because you won't be able to readjust them. That, that arm can swing freely. Pretty much a easy install here. This is not, there's not a lot of technical parts to it. Everything's kind of laid out for you. We 
we are so close to being done here. Go to the next step okay so the final step i would suggest taking a screwdriver and going through and tightening up all the little screws that they were already pre-assembled um, i noticed that a lot of mine were kind of loose and so it might make it rickety it's, it's pretty sturdy but it's cedar so it's going to be brittle um, and things might twist and break if you know if the, the kids are too rough with it so final step after doing that is putting in your pee and poop tray so there's a unfinished side, and there's a finished side. So you want the finished side out, obviously. There's some little guides in there. There you go, all done. Let's get the bunny. Okay, here's the bunny inside. There she goes. Let's see how she likes it. We just gotta get you some Timothy hay and, and get thinks, your house all set up, huh? She thinks it smells good, I think, because she's oh, sniffing yeah. it. Because yeah, it is cedar. It does smell really good. All right. Show you the final results. Okay, there she is in her new hutch. Thanks for watching. You can do it too. Easy. Today, I'm going to put together a rabbit hutch. Just got it online. Um, I don't know, 70, 80 bucks, something like that. I uh, didn't want to build it myself. I know, fix it. That's the theme of this channel. But this seems like a really slam dunk way to do it. So here we go. Okay, here's all the stuff it takes to build a rabbit hutch. Let's just go directions and see how it takes us. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the, the side to the, the front. There's some little dowel holes right here, and there's the dowels on the front. Make sure the front is out and it's up, except the label on the front. Put those pieces together. The dowel's not gonna go in real tight, it's just gonna kinda of act as a guide. Fidget it.